Welcome to the Orthodox Mission Church of Arizona, serving Coolidge and Florence. It is Wednesday, March 20th. Um, this is the first Wednesday of uh, Great and Holy Lent. Um, it's set for pre-sanctified liturgy. And the pre-sanctified liturgy um, is like both in Vespers and Orthros. It's much more repentant. Um, the music will be a little bit different than normal. Um, it's a very beautiful service. Uh, have your focus on that you need to ask for forgiveness um, because that this service is really about helping us lead our way through coming closer to God through repentance. God bless you and have a beautiful pre-sanctified liturgy. Simon, to patros Es tu seonas ton eonon. Amen. Look, Sissy. Oh, that thing, first of all, Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are magnified exceedingly. You clothe yourself with thanksgiving and majesty. Who cover yourself with light as with a garment. <clears throat> who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You are he who covers his upper chambers with water, who makes the clouds his means of approach, who walks on the wings of the winds, <clears throat> who makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He established the earth on its stable foundation. It shall not be moved unto ages of ages. The deep like a garment is his covering. The water shall stand upon the mountains. At your rebuke they shall flee. At the sound of your thunder they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down to the place you founded for them. <clears throat> You set a boundary, they shall not pass over, neither shall they return to cover the earth. You are he who sends springs into the valley, the waters shall pass between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the wild animals of the field, the wild asses shall quench their thirst. The birds of heaven shall dwell beside them, they shall sing from the midst of the rocks. You are he who waters the mountains from his higher places, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of your works. You are he who causes grass to grow for the cattle, and the green plant for the service of man. To bring forth bread from the earth and wine gladdens the heart of man. To brighten his face with oil and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of fruit. The cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There the sparrows shall make their nests. The house of the heron takes the lead among them. The high mountains are for the deer. The cliff is a refuge for the rabbits. He made the moon for seasons. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness and it was night. Wherein all the wild animals of the forest will prowl about. The young lions roar and snatch their prey and seek their food from God. The sun arises and they are gathered together, and they shall be put to bed in their dens. <clears throat> Man shall go out to, to his work and to his labor until evening. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. The earth was filled with your creation. There is this great and spacious sea. The creeping things are there without number. The living things are there, both small and great. There the ships pass through. There is this dragon you formed to play therein. <clears throat> All things wait upon you that you may give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they shall die and return again to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I exist. <clears throat> May my words be pleasing to him, and I should be glad in the Lord. A sinner cease from the earth, and the lawless so as to be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness, and it was night. <clears throat> o oh Lord, your work should be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, <clears throat> and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. For hope, O Lord, glory uh, to you. Uh, in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from above and the salvation of our souls. 
Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the stability of God's holy churches, of the oneness of all, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop Erasmus and the priesthood, the deacons and the service of Christ, for all the clergy and all the people, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our present, for these United States, for those in public service and the armed forces, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy, great Church of Christ, our archdiocese, this city and parish, every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember your most holy, pure, blessed, glorious lady, the Theotokos, most and ever Virgin Theotokos, Mary, along Mary. with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord, compassion, merciful, long suffering, abounding in mercy, give ear to our prayer, heed the voice of our supplication. Work us on in our midst for good. Lead us in your way, that we will walk in your truth, gladden our hearts, so as to fear your holy name. For you are great, and you do wonders. You alone are God, and there is none like you among the gods. Lord, you are mighty in mercy, and good in strength. So help and comfort, and save all those who hope in your holy name. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. To the Lord in my affliction I cried out, and he heard me. O Lord, deliver my soul from unjust lips and from a deceitful tongue. What should be given to you and what added to you against a deceitful tongue? The arrows of the mighty one are sharpened with hot coals from the desert. Woe is me, my sojourning was prolonged. I dwelt with the tents of Kedar. My soul sojourned a long time as a resident alien. With those who hate peace, I was peaceful. When I spoke to them, they made war against me without cause. I lifted my eyes to the mountains from where shall my help come. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let not your foot be moved, neither let him who keeps you slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep you. The Lord is your shelter at your right hand. The sun shall not burn you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. The Lord shall keep your soul. The Lord shall keep your coming in and your going out from this present time and unto the ages of ages. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet stood in, stand in your courts of Jerusalem. <laughs> Jerusalem is built as a city whose compactness is complete. There the tribes went up, the tribes of the Lord, a testimony to Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For thrones sat there for judgment, thrones over the house of David. Ask now for things regarding the peace of Jerusalem, and there is prosperity for those who love you. Let there now be peace in your power and prosperity in your citadels. For the sake of my brothers and my neighbors, I indeed spoke peace concerning you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I sought good things for you. I lift my eyes to you who dwell in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hands of their masters, as the eyes of the maid servant look to the hands of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord until he should, shall have compassion on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we are greatly filled with contempt. Our soul is greatly filled with it. We are a disgrace to those who prosper and a contempt to the arrogant. If the Lord had not been with us, let Israel now say, if the Lord had not been with us when men, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their anger raged against us, then would the water have drowned us. 
our soul would have passed through a torrent, then our soul would have passed through a water that is overwhelming. Blessed is the Lord who did not give us as prey to their teeth. Our soul was delivered like a sparrow from the snare of the hunters. The snare was broken and we were delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord who had made heaven and the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Look now and forever and into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Amen. <coughs> Remember your most holy, pure, blessed, glorious lady, most the Theotokos, and the Virgin Mary. Save us. Let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To Lord, you, you O Lord. <coughs> to For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. He who dwells in Jerusalem shall be unshaken forever. The mountains surround her, and the Lord surrounds his people from this present time and unto the ages. The Lord will not permit the rod of sinners to be upon the inheritance of the righteous. Lest the righteous stretch out their hands in lawlessness. Do good, O Lord, to the good and to the upright in heart. But those who turn aside to crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them away with the workers of lawlessness. Peace be upon Israel. When the Lord returned the captives of Zion, we became like those who are comforted. Then our mouth is filled with joy and our tongue with exceeding joy. Then they shall say among the Gentiles, the Lord did great things with them. The Lord has done great things with us and we were glad. Return, O Lord, our captivity like streams in the south. Those who sow with tears shall reap with exceeding joy. They went forth and wept, carrying their seeds with them, but they shall return with exceeding joy, carrying their sheaves. Unless the Lord builds a house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord guard the city, those who guard it stay awake in vain. It is vain for you to rise early to awaken from your rest. You who eat the bread of grief, when he gives his beloved one sleep, the whole children are the Lord's inheritance, the fruit of the womb his reward. Like arrows in the hand of a mighty one, so are the children of those who are outcasts. Blessed is the man who shall fulfill his desire with them. They shall not be ashamed when they speak to their enemies at the gate. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruits of your labor. You are blessed and shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a vine prospering on the sides of your house. Your children like newly planted olive trees around your table. Behold, so shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the good things of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Many times they warred against me from my youth. Let Israel now say, many times they warred against me from my youth. Yet they did not overcome me. The sinners scheme behind my back. They prolonged their lawlessness. The righteous Lord cut in pieces the necks of sinners. Let all who hate Zion be shamed and turned back. Let them become like grass on the housetops, which withers before it is plucked up, like grass with which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor the garden gatherer of sheaves his bosom. Neither do those who pass by say to them, The Lord's blessing be upon you. In the Lord's name we bless you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Again, again in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. Keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady, the Theotokos, most and ever Virgin Mary, Theotokos, along with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To you. <clears throat> As we anticipate the mercy, please, Lord, grant us all our requests that lead to salvation. Grant that we may wholeheartedly love and fear you and do your will in all things. For you are a good and a loving God, and to you we give the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and from the ages of ages. Amen. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, should mark transgression, O Lord, who would stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Because of your law, O Lord, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul hopes in the Lord from the morning watch until night. From the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his transgressions. O Lord, my heart is not exalted. Neither are my eyes raised up, neither am I carried along in great things, nor in things too marvelous for me. If I were not humble-minded, but exalted my soul, like a child weaned from its mother, so you would reward my soul. Let Israel hope in the Lord from this present time and unto the ages. Remember, O Lord David, and all his meekness, how he swore to the Lord, how he vowed to the God of Jacob. I shall not enter my dwelling, I shall not recline on my bed. I shall not close my eyes in sleep, nor my eyelids for dozing, nor give any rest to my temples until I find a place for the Lord, a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it in the plains of the wood. Let us enter into his tabernacles. Let us worship at the place where his feet stood. Arise, O Lord, into your rest, you and the ark of your holiness. Your priests shall clothe themselves in righteousness. Your saints shall greatly rejoice. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away from the face of your anointed. The Lord swore to David this truth, and he shall not reject it. I shall set upon your throne one from the fruit of your loins. If your sons keep my covenant and, the, and these testimonies, I, sh I shall teach them. Then their sons shall sit upon your throne forever. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He chose her for his dwelling. This is my place of rest unto ages of ages. Here I shall dwell, for I have chosen her. Blessing, I shall bless her provision. I shall satisfy her poor with bread, and I shall clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall rejoice exceedingly with great joy. There I shall cause to spring up a horn for David. There I prepared a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I shall clothe with shame. Upon him shall my sanctification flourish. Behold now what is so good or so pleasant as for brothers to dwell together in unity. It is like fragrant oil running down upon the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down the border of his garment. And it is like the dew of Ermin, running down upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing in life forever. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. In the nights, lift up your hands to the Holy of Holies and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. Again and again in peace. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember, most holy, your blessed, glorious lady, the Theotokos, 
Along with all the saints, let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are our God, and to you we give the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Lord, I have cried unto you, hearken unto me, hearken unto not my heart unto words of evil to make excuse with excuses in sin with men that work iniquity and i will not join with the chosen the righteous man will chasten me with mercy and reprove me as for the oil of the sinner let it not anoint my head. For yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures, swallowed up here by the rock of the dirty skin. They shall hear my words, for they be sweet, and as a clod of earth is broken upon the earth, so have their bones been scattered nigh unto Hades. For unto you, O Lord, O Lord, are my eyes in you, have I hoped, not my soul away. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. The sinners shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried. With my voice unto the Lord have I made my supplication. I will pour out before him my supplication. Mine affliction before him will I declare. When my spirit was fainting within me, then thou knewest my past. In this way wherein I have what they hid for me a snare. I looked upon my right hand and beheld, and there was none that did know me. I have failed me, and there is none that walked it out for my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope. My portion art thou in the land of the living. I turned unto my supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison to give thanks to your name, O Lord. O brethren, as we are fasting physically, let us also fast spiritually. Let us lose every bond of wrongdoing and untie the 
Righteous shall wait for me until you reward me. O oh, brethren, as we are fasting physically, let us also fast spiritually. Let us lose every bond of wrongdoing and untie the knots of violent dealings. Let us tear apart every unjust contract. Let us give bread to the hungry and bring the homeless poor into our homes, so that from Christ God we may receive the great mercy. I out of the depths I have cried to you, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, hear my voice. If there be virtue and if there be praise, it is fitting for the martyrs. For they bow their necks to the broadsword, for you who bowed the heavens and descended. They spilled their blood for you who emptied yourself and took the form of a servant and they let themselves be humbled even unto death in imitation of your poverty so according to the multitude of your tender mercies, through their prayers, O oh God, have mercy on us. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. O oh, apostles and eyewitnesses of God, you were sent into all the world as shining flashes of lightning by Jesus, the noetic Son. He diminished the darkness of error by the rays of your divine doctrines and he enlightened those who were maliciously held as prisoners in the gloom of ignorance we pray you to entreat him to grant us illumination and the great mercy. If you, O Lord, should mark transgression, O Lord, who would stand? For there is forgiveness with you. By fasting, Elias was made to shine, and he boarded the divine chariot of 
the virtues and was carried up to the heavenly eyes emulate him O oh my humble soul and fast and abstain from all manner of malice and envy and strife and fleeting revelry and pleasure so as to escape the everlasting torment of the fires of Gehenna. And now cry aloud to Christ, O Lord, glory to you. Because of your law, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul hopes in the Lord. Divine apostles, you fervently intercede for the world. You are the defenders of the orthodox. Since by your close access you are mighty, in your prayers to Christ our God, we pray you who are praised by all and entreat the Lord on our behalf, that he grant us easily to accomplish the beneficial time of the Lenten fast, and that we may receive the grace of the consubstantial trinity. O great and glorious preachers, pray for the salvation of our souls. <laughs> From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. Fleeing from the tumult of the world, you are blessed, James, were preserving, unagitated your mind, which you kept from roving and paying attention to the distractions and turbulence of life in the world. You instead uplifted it to gaze with longing on high to the Lord and Master in heaven, who is the divine benefactor of all men, our ever blessed saint of God. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his transgressions. Fleeing from the tumult of the world, you all blessed James were preserving, unagitated your mind, which you kept from roving and paying attention to to the distractions and turbulence of life in the world, you instead uplifted it to gaze with longing on high to the Lord and Master in heaven, 
who is the divine benefactor of all men, O ever blessed saint of God. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Praise him, all you people. Father, having led a quiet life, far from all the world's agitation, God in thy grace divine, you attain the state of freedom from the passions and sin, and by means of your rigorous ascetical practice, and the light of God that shone from you, O holy subdued, reign so demons now you are joyful, dancing round the Lord with the angels, who exalted status you indeed attain. For his mercy rules over us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. You lived as if outside of the world, and the flesh recalling the glory that is invisible. You transcended all things visible, imagining the majestical grandeur of the servant the Savior celestial, tabernacle and its ineffable beauty of which you, O Father James, are a bearer. Pray for us to Christ that he save us, who extol you faithfully and honor you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, you are troubled, you are joy, and the bee of you to protect us, the pauper's nourishment, stranger's consolation, and the walking staff of the blind. Visitation of the infirm, assistance and shelter for the weary and oppressed, a help of orphans as well. Hasten to deliver your servants, fervently we beg you, O pure one, since you are the mother of the Most High God. Sophia or Fee, for Blessed 
heavenly, immortal Father, O Jesus Christ, arriving at the hour of sunset, and having seen the evening light, we praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God. It is worthy for you to be praised at all times with happy voices. O Son of God, and giver of life, and therefore the world glorifies you. The evening prokimenon. Thou, O Lord, shalt keep us and shall preserve us from this generation and forevermore. Save me, O Lord, for a righteous man there is no more, for truths have diminished from the sons of men. Wisdom. The reading is from the book of Genesis. Wisdom, let us all be attentive. God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, four-footed and creeping things, and beasts of the earth after their kind, and it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth after their kind, and the cattle after their kind, and all the things that creep upon the earth after their kind. And God saw that they were good. And God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the heaven and over the cattle and over all the earth and over all the creeping things that creep upon the earth. So God created man in the image of God created, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, saying, Increase and multiply and fill the earth, and wield the lordship thereof, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the heaven, and over all the cattle, and over all the earth, and over all the creeping things that creep upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant fit for sowing, sowing seed, which is upon the earth, and every tree, which hath in itself the fruit of seed fit for sowing. To you it shall be for food, and to all the beasts of the earth, and to all the fowls of the heaven, and to every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that hath in itself the breath of life, and every green plant for food, and it was so. And God saw all the things that he had made, and behold, they were very good. And there was evening, and there was morning the sixth day. And the heaven and the earth were finished, and all the fair ordering of them. And on the sixth day God finished his works which he had made, and God rested on the seventh day from all the works which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his works which God had begun to create. <clears throat> Look upon me, hear me, O Lord my God, enlighten mine eyes, lest at any time I sleep unto death. Sophia, rise, the light of Christ enlightens us all. How long, O Lord, wilt thou utterly forget me? How long wilt thou Wisdom, let us be attentive. The reading. The reading is from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom, let us all be attentive. My son, if thou wilt receive the word of my commandment and hide it with thee, thine ear shall hearken to wisdom, and thou shalt apply thy heart to understanding, and shalt apply it to the instruction of thy son. For if thou shalt call upon wisdom and lift up thy voice for understanding, and if thou shalt seek her as silver, and search diligently for her as for treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord, and shalt find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, and from his presence cometh knowledge and understanding. And he treasureth up salvation for them that walk uprightly. He will cover their way as with a shield, that he may guard the ways of righteousness, and he will preserve the way of them that fear him. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment, and shalt steer all thy course aright. For if wisdom shall come into thy mind, and discernment shall seem pleasing to thy soul, good counsel shall guard thee, and a righteous understanding shall keep thee, that it may deliver thee from the evil way, and from the man that speaketh nothing worthy of trust. Alas for those who forsake right paths to walk in ways of darkness, who rejoice in evils, and delight in wicked perverseness, whose paths are perverse and their tracks crooked, to take thee far from the straight way, and make thee a stranger to a righteous purpose. 
My son, let not evil counsel overtake thee from her who hath forsaken the instruction of her youth and forgotten the covenant of God. For she hath set her house near death and her wheels near Hades with the giants. None that go to her shall return, neither shall they take hold of right paths, for they are not apprehended of the years of life. For had they gone in good paths, they would have found the paths of righteousness easy. For the upright shall dwell on the earth, and the guileless shall remain in it. The paths of the ungodly shall perish out of the earth, and transgressors shall be utterly destroyed from it. Sophia, or thee.
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Again, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Again, mercy. Again, we Lord, pray have mercy. for our Bishop Yerasimov. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God. And to you we give the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. Catechumen, pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumen. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy. That he teach them the word of truth. Lord, have mercy. That he reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Lord, have mercy. That he unite them to his holy Catholic an apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. Save them and mercy them, help them and keep them, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Have you and bow your heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. So that they with us may glorify your most honorable, majestic name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now of the ages of ages. Amen. All catechumen depart, catechumen depart, all catechumen depart. Let no catechumen remain. Let us, the faithful, pray again and again in peace. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. But wisdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. Again, again, in peace, let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Sophia. Lord, have mercy. In accordance with the gift of your Christ, with whom you, with whom and your all holy name, his good and life creating spirit have been blessed now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. Now the
for me. gets here presented and pre-sanctified. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our God who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy celestial mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress. <laughs> Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let this holy evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and our bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Lord pardon and remission our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world. 
Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. And let us ask for a Christian ending to our life peaceful, without shame and suffering, for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life to Christ our God. To And grant us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Patri mon, o enti suranis, ai diastito to nomasu, el teto i vasiliasu, janitito to telimasu, os enuranon ke epitisis, to narto ni mon to nebusion, dos imin simeron, ke afisimin ta ofilimata imon, os ke imis afiementi sofilatisimon, ke mi isenegis imas ispiras mon, and with your spirit, let us all bow our heads unto the Lord. To you. Through the grace, compassion, love for mankind, your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. The holy priest sanctified gifts for the holy. People of God. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion. O maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. 
You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins, and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that leaping for joy I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let the meek hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about them that fear him and will deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that hopeth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, all you his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come, you children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desires life, who loves to see good days? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking guile. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are opened unto their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, utterly to destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them will do wrong that hope in him. Anonis, oh, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and hath revealed himself to us. Yes. Yes.
I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. O taste of the heavenly bread and of the cup of life and see that the Lord is good. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah. On the We have seen the true light, we have received the heavenly spirit, we have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided Trinity, for the Trinity hath saved us. Arise, having partake the divine, holy, pure, mortal, heavenly light, free and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give, let give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves, let us commit each other, let us commit our whole life. To Christ our God. To you. To you, O Lord. 
for you our sanctification, and to you we give the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Master and ruler of all, you made all creation in wisdom by your ineffable providence and abounding goodness. You brought us to these solemn days for the cleansing of soul and body, for self-control over passions, for the hope of the resurrection. Good Lord, who for Moses, your servant, forged the divine engraved tablet in the course of 40 days, to us also grant to fight the good fight, to finish the race of the fast, to keep the faith intact, to shatter the heads of invisible dragons, Amen. to emerge as victors over sin, Amen. and to be ready without condemnation to venerate your holy resurrection. Amen. For blessed and glorified is your all honorable majestic name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and unto the ages. The name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth and unto the ages. Let us pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. May the blessings and the mercy of our Lord come upon you through the divine grace and love, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. May Christ, our true God, through the intercession of his all pure and holy mother, power of the precious life giving cross, protection of all the powers of heaven, the supplication of the glorious prophet and born of John the Baptist, holy, glorious, praise the apostles, holy, glorious, prophet martyrs of our righteous, God bearing Father. Of this, the patron saint of our church, Saint Joseph has a cast of the, of the patron saint of our chapel, Saint John Maximovich, holy, righteous, ancestor the Lord, he will keep in on all the saints. Mercy and save us. He is a good God who loves mankind. Um, at this time, the chanters will read the psalm, and you'll come forward in, in quietness and receive on Didero and return to your place where you are. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall be praised in the Lord. Let the gentle hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my sojourning. Come to him and be enlightened and your face shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him from all his afflictions. The angel of the Lord shall encamp around those who fear him and he will deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who hopes in him. For fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no one for those who fear him. Rich men turn poor and when hungry, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life, who loves to see good days? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Shun evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their supplications. The Lord's face is against those who do evil so as to destroy their remembrance from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them from all, his, from all their afflictions. The Lord is near those who are brokenhearted, and he will save the humble in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he will deliver them from them all. The Lord shall guard all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and those who hate the righteous shall, do, shall go wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and all who hope in him shall not go wrong. I shall exalt you, my God and my King, and I shall bless your name forever and unto the ages of ages. Every day I shall bless you and praise your name forever and unto the ages. Great is the Lord, and exceedingly praiseworthy. His greatness has no limit. Generations shall praise your works, and they shall declare your power. They shall speak of the magnificence of the glory of your holiness, and they shall describe your wonders. They shall also speak of the power of your awesome deeds and describe your great majesty. They shall overflow with the memory of your rich goodness and shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful. 
long suffering and abundant in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his mercies are upon all his works. O Lord, let all your works praise you, and your holy ones bless you. They shall tell of your kingdom's glory, and they shall speak of your power, that all the sons of men may know your power and the glory of your kingdom's magnificence. Your kingdom is a kingdom of all ages, and your dominion is from generation to generation. The Lord is faithful in his words and holy in all his works. The Lord supports all who stumble and restores all who are broken down. All eyes hope in you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and fill every living thing with your pleasure. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call upon him in truth. He shall do the will of those who fear him and he shall hear their supplications and save them. The Lord keeps all who love him, but all the sinners he shall utterly destroy. My mouth shall speak the Lord's praise and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Um, in a few minutes, we'll go downstairs and have, um, we'll break the fast, the water fast um, with a meal. Um, I'll bless that meal in a moment. Uh, tomorrow morning, we have the last day of the canon of St. Andrew. We have uh, Thursday night, tomorrow night, um, Orthodoxy 101, where we will talk about the divine liturgy and understanding it and what it means. Friday, Friday we have um, pre-sanctified liturgy again in the morning at 8 o'clock. We have the first Akathist of the Theotokos at 5.30 in the evening on Friday, and our last Saturday of the Souls on Saturday at 8. Um, God bless you. Check the calendar if I went too fast. Let us say a prayer for the food downstairs. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. 